Memory like a sieve and can't see for looking. Yeah, that the, my nana used to say that. And I've got that now. Yeah, I can't remember. And I look straight at things and can't see them. But if they move, I can. Yeah, I mean, that's what the same. The, the same, my eyesight is okay for driving without glasses now because your, your eyes can get better. And they don't, sometimes they don't just, well, they don't just deteriorate. They can get better again. But obviously, if I was driving and I saw a pedestrian walking across the road, I'd see them, but I don't know. I mean, usually it's things like speakers and what else haven't I seen? Um, well, one was the speaker that I was looking for, and there was something else I was looking straight at and couldn't see. It was inanimate, though. It didn't move. So I don't know. And uh, I thought about all sorts of things like that. Yeah. Some people go too far. Um, in cricket, you used to hear, um, it was the Australians that used to do it mainly. They'd, they'd taunt the batsmen, wouldn't they? But with the wicket keepers and people like that, they'd be on and on and on at the batsmen so that he couldn't concentrate. And then, of course, there was one with blue air, wasn't there? Yeah, it's a distracting and that. And I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm doing that because I itch. Possibly because my skin's contract. Well, me, I've lost weight and my skin's. It's sort of too big for my body, if you see what I mean. Um, Dad used to get that when he was gardening. Yeah. He used to moan a bucket full about the, the skin down his back itching and they gave him all sorts of flipping ointments and stuff to put on it. But the problem was, it worked so hard, his body had, had sort of contracted and his skin would... That's why, it's, that's why his skin was itching, because it was too big. And isn't that the biggest organ on your body, your skin? I'm going on, but... I haven't been on that long, but... Yeah, and of course, Dad, he was loud as well, because he worked on a building site, but... I've forgotten where that, what that was about, but yeah. Um, no, I can't remember, but I've always been... Yeah, I've always been quiet, because Nana was. Um, but I think that was natural to her. And she came from a small village... Um, yeah, and if she, that was it, if she saw the inside of this place, she she wouldn't she wouldn't have disowned me. She'd have a heart, she'd have an heart attack. But that was the thing. She was a she was a maid at a big house. I did begin to wonder about that, but yeah, the one I was told, I've actually been in it, because um, a girl from school, their, their pa her parents owned it for quite a while, but I don't think they do anymore. Um, it isn't that big, but. I used to deliver the milk there as well. They didn't get much milk, but um, um, I remember because I had to do another turn in the road because there was, a, there was um, oh, was it 3.10? I can't remember. There was a, like a V and the house was in the middle of it. Uh, I did wonder about someone else, but um, serves, you right, serves you right. That was another thing Nan used to say, but that's probably come from a time as a maid. As far as I know, it was at that house. I don't know, but. Yeah, that's why she'd have an heart attack if she saw this, because it was so, so untidy. But as, well, as far as Nana was concerned, everything did have a time and a place. And, yeah, this this place is in a terrible state, but it's because I'd done so much work on my car and there was no need to vandalise the engine so I had to rebuild it again. You've, you've wasted me time, and now my house is a flipping mess. It has. It's got ridiculous. There's competition and there's unfair competition and there's mania and being stupid.